Om Namah Shiva students. In the last video, I told you all a brief summary of the story T from Assam, which is the third part of the chapter Glimpses of India. In this video, I'll read the story in details and I will also discuss the important points. As I'll read the lines, you will also read the lines along with me. You will take a pencil in your hand. When I'll tell you to mark the important lines, you will do the same. In the last video, I had also told you all that this story is about two friends. Okay. This lesson is about two friends, Pranjal and Rajveer, who are traveling to Pranjal's hometown, Assam, for the summer vacation. Assam is known as the tea country and it has the largest concentration of tea plantations in the world. During their journey, they discuss about the various legends that are known to have discovered tea. The story also tells us about the popularity of tea as a beverage. Now, we'll start reading this story. Part 3. Tea from Assam Pranjal, a youngster from Assam, is Rajveer's classmate at school in Delhi. Pranjal's father is the manager of a tea garden in Upper Assam and Pranjal has invited Rajveer to visit his home during the summer vacation. Chai Garam, Garam Chai, a vendor called out in a high-pitched voice. He came up to their window and asked, Chai Saab, give us two cups. Pranjal said, they sipped the steaming hot liquid. Almost everyone in their compartment was drinking tea too. After reading these lines, you can understand that this scene is set on a train station where a tea vendor asks these two friends who are traveling by train to Assam if they would like to buy some freshly made hot tea. They decide to have two cups of tea joining almost everyone else in their compartment. If you have ever traveled in a train then this scene is very common. Whenever a train stops at a station you will find the tea vendors entering the train compartments and selling tea. Do you know that over 80 crore cups of tea are drunk every day throughout the world? Rajveer said. Hui! exclaimed Franjal. Tea really is very popular. At that moment, Rajveer highlights the fact that almost 80 crore cups of tea are consumed every day throughout the world. And on listening to this fact, Pranjal exclaims and he says that yes, tea really is very popular. The train pulled out of the station. Pranjal buried his nose in his detective book again. Rajvi too was an ardent fan of detective stories, but at that moment he was keener on looking at the beautiful scenery. As soon as the train started moving out of the station, Pranjal got engaged in reading his detective book. Rajvi too was an ardent fan of detective stories, but at that moment, he chose to look at the scenic beauty. Okay. It was green, green everywhere. Rajveer had never seen so much greenery before. Then the soft green paddy fields gave way to tea bushes. So Rajveer had never seen so much greenery before. There was greenery all around. After the green paddy fields, the tea plantations could be seen. Okay. It was a magnificent view, underlined. Against the backdrop of densely wooded hills, a sea of tea bushes, underlined, stretched as far as the eye could see. Dwarfing the tiny tea plants were tall, sturdy shade trees and amidst the orderly row of bushes, busily moved doll-like figures. As far as Rajveer was able to See, he could see only the tea bushes and the tea bushes were visible so much so that the narrator compared it to a sea of tea bushes. In the background, there were hills with dense forest and in between the tea plantations, there were orderly rows of tall and strong 
trees that were moving because of the wind overall it was an amazing and magnificent view in the distance was an ugly building with smoke billowing out of tall chimneys hey a tea garden rajveer cried excitedly pranjal who had been born and brought up on a plantation did not share rajveer's excitement oh this is a tea country now underline he said assam has the largest concentration of plantations in the world you will see enough gardens to last you a lifetime as the train was moving now rajveer next rajveer saw an ugly looking building with smoke coming out of it and he cried excitedly and he said hey it's a tea garden rajveer got very excited but pranjal who had seen all these tea gardens during his childhood did not match up to his friend's level of enthusiasm okay pranjal had been born and brought up on a plantations and that is why he was not as excited as rajvi now pranjal tells him that they have entered assam which is known as the tea country and the state has the maximum number of tea plantations in the world he also tells rajvi that in assam he will see enough gardens which will last him for a lifetime i'll stop my class over here in my next video i'll continue explaining this story till then thank you om namah shivaya